D-dimer is an interesting test that we actually use to identify very specific conditions going on within the body. It has a normal reference range of less than 250. So what D-dimer is essentially is a fibrin degradation product. Okay, what does that mean? It's basically a small protein that's present in the blood after a clot is broken down by fibrinolysis, okay? So if D-dimer is present, if it's present at, at above the 250, then we can assume that there are clots being broken down through secondary fibrinolysis. What secondary fibrinolysis basically is, is we have two types of fibrinolysis. We have primary and secondary. Primary fibrinolysis is the normal breakdown of clots, just going through the normal anatomical physiological process of breaking down clots. Secondary fibrinolysis is the breakdown of blood clots due to some sort of medical disorder or medication. So the reason we're going to run D-dimer is that we might suspect uh, conditions like DIC or DVT or pulmonary embolism or these types of things that might be problematic clots within the body. It can also be used to evaluate myocardial infarction or unstable angina. So if the patient has any symptoms of DIC or DVT or pulmonary embolism, this test might be run, and if we have a level greater than the 250, we can start to assume that possibly the patient is suffering from one of these conditions. So some of the, again, some of the reasons we would see an increased level would be DVT, DIC, preeclampsia, pregnancy, pulmonary embolism, arterial or venous thrombosis, and secondary fibrinolysis, which can also occur due to these conditions, but can also occur due to antithrombotic therapy, okay? So very important test to run, very important in identifying some of these medical disorders, these blood clots from medical disorders, okay? So really important to know, we want to keep our value less than 250.